look what came in the mail. Pat McGrath always seems to launch things when I'm visiting my parents. So I have not been as active, especially on Instagram, because I've been visiting my parents, but I needed to test this out. This one's going to be a little bit more of a casual review since I am on kind of vacay, but I had to, had to, had to test out the new Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Divine Powder Bronzer. I picked these up from the Pat McGrath Labs website, but it looks like it's coming to Sephora on April 7th, so just in a couple of days, and a lot of you said you were holding off to see the swatches. I picked up two of the eight shades. I picked up the second and third lightest, and I kind of took a peek at these, a little worried, and it looks like on Sephora only five of those shades will be available, so you do have a bigger range on the Pat McGrath website. These are $39 each. That's a lot for a single bronzer. And basically, these are just supposed to be like the best bronzer ever, you know? Pat McGrath is my favorite brand, so let's take a look. The box is absolutely gorgeous. Honestly, more gorgeous than I even thought it was going to be and how it looked online. The bronzer is made in Italy, has an 18-month shelf life. Now, I am no ingredient buff, but I know some of you say you're talc-free with your makeup. I do notice that talc is the first ingredient, so keep that in mind. It doesn't bother me, but I just thought I would point that out. And the packaging of the bronzer is pretty much just like the blushes. So it's nice, luxe, heavy. There's a button opening. You do have a mirror, and then you also have the bronzer. Now, I decided to go with the second lightest and third lightest because I typically prefer a bronzer that is not too dark on my skin but this nude honey does not look too far from my skin so, so we'll see how that is also in the collection i did order the eyeshadow quad but that's not shipping out until april 11th so i obviously don't have that yet just the two bronzers let me show you the other color that i have so this one is bronze dawn so now I'm like wondering if I should get the next color up. This one's a little bit more warm. This one's more cool. We're going to be comparing them on the face. Let's see, there is 9.5 grams of product. And how they say online, it's a micro velvet powder, blurring, perfecting, interesting claim, buildable, mistake-proof application. And these are a demi-matte finish. There is one that does have a pearl finish. I don't have that one. And vegan. And you know what's interesting on the website? That I missed that I'm seeing now it will say like the shade nude honey pairs well for light 5 to light medium 10 which I'm light medium 9 so it does say nude honey will work for me but I'm kind of on the darker scale for it but let's go ahead and swatch these so this one is bronze dawn do you think the embossment is pretty I do okay so let's see it's a little bit warmer I'm gonna zoom you in I was looking at myself in the mirror and I was like, oh, I look like a ghost. And it's because I don't have any color products on my face. So this is Bronze Dawn. It doesn't have like a micro smooth or really, really creamy or wet consistency. It does feel dry in the pan, but not super dry, like dusty. It just doesn't have a creamy feel to it, but it's swatched pretty smooth. Pretty good for a bronzer because I think bronzers can sometimes swatch a little patchy. And then this one is Nude Honey, which is more on the cool side. I'm happy that I ended up picking up a cooler one and a warmer one. And this is kind of how they compare. They do actually feel smooth on the hand, though. So they don't feel creamy in the pan, but I'm not bothered by it because it doesn't feel like it's going to be drying to my face or anything. Now, in terms of comparison, I only brought one bronzer with me since I'm at my parents' house. But it's kind of a classic. It's the Tantastic from Marc Jacobs, so I'm just going to swatch this for you. And this was one of my favorites, and suddenly I'm not so worried about these bronzers being too dark, because here's how it compares. Honestly, it is kind of close to Nude Honey, and you can't get Tantastic anymore because Marc Jacobs is no longer a beauty brand, but those are kind of close. I'm like looking. There is like a very, very, very subtle difference between the two, but they are super close almost almost dupes of each other they probably will look like dupes on the skin oh my gosh I feel like I just discovered something okay let's go ahead and just put these on the face I think today's video is gonna be quick my defos need to get some color so first we're gonna start off with bronze dawn which is 
the warmer shade. So I'm using one of my favorite brushes, the Ruffer number no. 5 brush. A little bit of kickback, nothing crazy. And I'm just going to apply this right here. I mean, it's applying really, really smooth. Make sure you press the bronzer directly in the hairline so there's no awkward gap. And it is building up. So where I applied the second layer, it instantly looks more bronzed, which is good because I thought in the pan it looked a little light. But you can see as I'm layering it on, it's getting deeper. And that is part of the buildable and foolproof application that they described. It is definitely buildable, which is something that I look for because that does help make it much more foolproof. This texture and application looks really smooth on the skin. Now, they did also claim that it does have some blurring properties. Blurring is a strong word, but it's definitely not emphasizing anything. It's a nice powder bronzer. Very smooth application. This particular shade, Bronze Dawn, is going to give more of a warm look. So if you want that out of your bronzer, this one is going to be good for you. Okay, I'm going to wipe off this brush because I'm limited in bronzer brushes that I have. And I'm really tempted by this Nude Honey shade since it looks like a really good dupe for the Marc Jacobs Tantastic. Which this bronzer is iconic. It was definitely one of the most popular items from Marc Jacobs. And one of the items that people were most sad once the brand was no longer. So let's see. Clean brush. And I kept that in my makeup kit as well. So really pretty. Definitely looks a lot cooler on my skin which is better in terms of contouring, if that's what you're trying to get out of a shade like this. What do we think? Now this is just the first layer. It's not built up yet, but can you see how much more warm this side looks? But this side is definitely better for like a natural day. I'm looking in my mirror. It looks so good though. Okay, I'm going to build it up to see what that does. It definitely builds up as well. It is a very easy formula to work with. I like how buildable it is. I think it's expensive though, obviously, if you're not buying for the name. But if you're a Pat McGrath fan, beautiful. So even if you think it looks a little light in the pan, it does build up some depth. It's hard to over apply this. You really have to work to over apply it on the first coat. Oh, this shade is beautiful. This is kind of my ideal shade for every day, unless I'm doing like a really bronzy look or I want to look more toasted, you know? But this, okay, I am very happy with the shades that I got. I was worried, you saw that, but I think they both look beautiful and they both serve different purposes. I like that one is more warm. I like that one is more cool. I like that I can get a really light amount of color at first. That's very, very natural, but easily just with the second coat, it builds up to give me some more oomph that sometimes I do want, depending on the foundation that I'm wearing. If the foundation that I'm wearing is too deep on me, then I need a deeper bronzer, but so good. I like both a lot. I'm gonna take a little bit of nude honey since it has that cooler tone to it. And I'm just going to run it down my nose to get some color down there. I'm using a Isam S33 brush. This is good for like a quick powder nose contour. Nothing too precise. That's pretty, I like it used in this way as well. It still looks natural. It's not too gray of a contour, which sometimes you want to completely reshape the nose. But I'm just trying to add some dimension to the center of my face. Right? Doesn't that look good? Then take your foundation sponge that you use to blend out your foundation or brush, put it over, and that will kind of do the blend work for you. Ooh, that looks so good. I'm gonna quickly apply my blush. I'm so dumb. I did not bring my Pat McGrath blush or bronzers. I brought like random things that I don't use as much. So I'm gonna use this e.l.f. quad in light. Let's do the orange color because I do have a warm eye on right now. Also, my hair is still wet because I don't have a diffuser for the blow dryer at my parents' house and it's better just to air dry my hair if I don't have a diffuser. And well, I gotta go, we're doing things today. How pretty is that blush? 
e.l.f. cheap, can't go wrong with it. And then for highlight, I'm gonna really throw it back. <laughs> I'm using the Balm The Luminizer Squad. I have not heard the brand The Balm in forever, but Mary Luminizer was so, so popular. I think though there's Penny Luminizer in here. I'm gonna use that just a little bit. Not too much for a little bit of glow. When I go on vacation to my parents and I don't really plan on filming too much, I bring a lot of products that you don't really see me use on camera because I want to give them some love too. It's part of the rotation and this one is so pretty. Okay, let me pull myself together and I'm going to give you my final first impressions on these. Okay, so here's my final thoughts on these bronzers. I really like these. I think they are a great formula. They do have a demi matte finish. They aren't super drying looking. My favorite part is the build ability on this. They are also very blendable. So if you are too heavy handed and put it on your face, you are able to blend it out. Definitely is beginner friendly. However, these are an expensive product. One, the Sephora sale is coming up, so maybe wait for that to get 20% off. Pat McGrath is always having sales, so once these are no longer the newest item from Pat McGrath, these will eventually go on sale. So I do recommend these on sale because you can get it on sale. Hold off for that because they are expensive, but I think they are really, really, really nice. Now, there's a lot of good bronzers out there on the market. I don't necessarily think as of now that these stand out. They are on the good bronzer list to purchase, that's for sure. As a Pat McGrath fan, I definitely recommend these. But you know, you absolutely can get a really good bronzer at a better price point. These aren't sticking out too far to me as an absolute must-have over other cheaper items because there's so many good bronzers out there. But I am absolutely thoroughly enjoying this very impressed with these. I would say for the most part, like my expectations were met, but I do wish she had a bit more variety in the finish of these bronzers. I understand the demi matte, that's kind of what she did with the blushes as well, but I feel like with Pat McGrath being just a risk-taking brand, I would have loved to have seen a little bit more of a sheen on these. Still beautiful, nonetheless, still really enjoyed these. So if you have your eye on these, Definitely do recommend them. The formula did not disappoint. The big thing is if they look lighter in the pan, they do build up on the face and look a little bit deeper. So I ended up being very happy with the colors that I chose. If you are around my skin tone, I'm light medium nine in the foundation. You could probably go for the third shade if you like the depth or for a summer shade, but I'm very happy with the shades that I picked up and I'm really happy about the discovery, how the Marc Jacobs Tantastic and Nude Honey are pretty much dupes for one another since you can't get this anymore. I would say it looks really, really close on the face as well. So I like these, I couldn't wait to try them on. I had to even though I am visiting my parents, I just wanted to demo for you guys. So if you picked up these bronzers, let me know your thoughts and I will catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye guys, have a good one.